All right, Miami Heat fans, a.k.a. the best fans in the NBA. I'm going to make a quick video on Nikola Jovic and where he initially was supposed to be drafted according to what the experts were thinking when they made their mocks. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and play the two clips, one from The Ringer and one from CBS Sports HQ. CBS is first. Next up, the Spurs again. So you like Johnny Davis at number nine, Patrick Baldwin Jr. at pick 20. Now we're at 25. So Colin, who are you taking? Yeah, with 25, I think it's time to take a shot at some upside. And I think they're going to take Nikola Jovic. Now, that's not Nikola Jokic, the MVP. Everybody's had some fun with his name. But this is a, a, a young 6'10 kid who can handle the ball, who can shoot the three. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of European prospects go off the board. So um, he's going to take some time. He's raw. But you look at the confidence, the ability to put the ball on the floor at his size, and he has a super confident jump shot. I mean, you look at some of these videos and these gyms look like they're YMCA gyms, uh, but you can see the skill, his ability to shoot the ball. Uh, he's had some trouble going left and had obviously defensive issues. Anybody at that age will, uh, but those are things that the Spurs are going to be willing to work on, particularly when they've gotten already gotten a couple guys who are more NBA ready in the draft. So I think now is the time to take a shot on some upside and Jovic has the potential to be a really good player. It's just going to take a long time to develop. Yeah, as you can see too, debuting on the Serbian national team in February of 2022 at age 18. Man has some skills there. Now the Rockets with Nikola Jovic, uh, not Jokic. <laughs> <laughs> have him going to the Spurs. Pretty much everything I said about Usman Jeng going to them at the ninth pick applies here. A big playmaking forward who can handle the ball. Sign me up on seeing him develop with the San Antonio Spurs. I want to see those guys on the same developmental plan that Keldon Johnson was on, that Devin Vassell is in. These guys starting out as 3 and D types of guys and growing into more offensive hubs as they continue to get better, or at least to get more opportunity to do that. And with Jovic, He's not a defensive player yet, so he's a three minus the D, uh, unlike Jeng, who does project uh, as a better defender early on in his career. But with Jovic, uh, it's not like with him, it's the type of thing where you can't see him being someone who can survive on defense. I think he can at least survive as long as he improves his intensity. You can make an argument that Jalen Williams would be the better pick for San Antonio at number 20 because that intensity isn't a question on defense. However, with Jovic, there's a, a bit more offensive upside considering his youth. For Denver on the other